Good morning vlog. It has been a minute since I vlogged. I missed last week's upload, so it's been about two weeks since I picked up a camera. So it feels really weird to be vlogging right now. Also, just looking at the viewfinder, it looks so different because I curled my hair. I got my hair done about a week ago, so I've just been more inspired to kind of style it lately. So I tried to curl it. It's really curly right now, so I'm hoping it'll kind of like fall out throughout the day and just look more like, I don't know, seamless and just kind of like more natural. Also, I just got my nails done a few days ago. I got neon hot pink. I went in thinking that I was going to get like a nude color and then I don't know, I feel like I just got really inspired and happy for summer. So I went with the really hot pink and I love it. Also, I got my second vaccine yesterday. I ended up getting the Pfizer. So my first one, if you guys are wondering, I actually had no symptoms other than a sore arm. And then, like I said, I got my second dose yesterday and my arm was a little sore at first um, and then it kind of went away. And then today I woke up basically just with, with some body aches, but nothing major. I didn't even take any Tylenol or anything. So I'm actually feeling really good. That's why I decided to vlog. Also, I wanna make sure I can get a video up for you guys on Monday. So happy Monday if you guys are watching this it's currently let's see it's 10 30 and we were gonna go in the city and then we kind of decided that i think instead since we are going to be moving into the city in less than a week now i am so excited i will be vlogging so much so if you guys like new york city content make sure you subscribe down below because there is going to be a lot coming your way but anyways, like I said, we we're gonna go in the city and then we decided not to since we're gonna be there all the time here in less than a week. And we decided that instead we're gonna go to the Riverhead Outlets and hopefully find some good furniture and just home decor for our apartment. We have been shopping so much lately. I'm so excited that I wanna keep buying stuff, but at the same time, I don't wanna buy it and then it doesn't look right or really fit the apartment. So I'm really excited and I know you guys liked my last Riverhead Outlet vlog. Um, so yeah. Something I bought recently that is so random but I am obsessed with for some reason is this cute little berry basket from Crate and Barrel and I actually bought two of them but we need to buy more berries so I can fill the other one up. I just think they look so cute and I love an organized fridge. That's one thing that I definitely want to start incorporating more I guess into my lifestyle just being more organized so I bought this one I think either off Amazon no I bought one off Amazon and then I found it cheaper at TJ Maxx so I got this bought two of these also I'm sorry about the noise in the background it's a dishwasher and then I also like I said got these berry baskets and then I also got this egg organizer which we are out of eggs so definitely need to pick up more I also have to show you guys our latest Poshmark purchase I usually don't buy things on Poshmark when I saw this though I had to have it so it's a vintage D umbrella and I'm obsessed it's not perfect but it's so pretty and I think it's gonna look so cute in pictures and I just love it and it's also my favorite colors I love to wear like more neutral colors like this um, the only thing is it is a little cracked like up here at the top and then the handle has some scuffs but I mean that's kind of what you expect when you're buying vintage so I think it's so cute though and I was so excited to find this outfit for today is my favorite Isabel Morant sweatshirt my girlfriend jeans I feel like this is something I wear all the time I feel like I always happen to wear this when I'm vlogging for some reason and then I will obviously change out on my slippers and probably put on my favorite rag and bone shoes that I have showed you guys probably a million times by now So we just got to the outlets. I think first we're gonna go to Lululemon. It is like the store we always go in first. Um, probably mostly gonna look for ourselves. Obviously though, if there's a good deal, we'll probably source something to resell. And then Spencer was saying he also, where'd you wanna go? I think I wanted to go to Armani and Robert Graham. Robert Graham, nice. Yep. I wanna go in Theory too. We love the Theory oh, yeah, outlet. Theory's our favorite. Yeah. yeah, we both love shopping there. And then probably Saks. I know I said we were doing home shopping. <laughs> but we are like it's so tempting when we yeah can. we just have to go and the lululemon outlet i feel like always has a line so it's just better to go there first before they get packed it's honestly such a nice day i feel like the last time we were here it was so cold so it feels so nice the sun is out it's like almost too bright i can hardly open my eyes but i think it's like 63 which isn't the warmest but it still feels so yeah, it nice it feels so nice short sleeves everything yeah. wow can't relate i'm wearing a sweatshirt <laughs> We also went to Rag and Bone, but we ended up not really finding anything. I feel like most of the stuff they had for women's anyways was like 
winter stuff and it also wasn't really marked down but it's so busy today because it's Saturday so it's really hard to record in stores um, but I think now we're gonna go to the Armani outlet so yeah, see what next. we find I'll try and record in there but I don't know <laughs> They have some really cute blazers on sale at Theory for 80% off. I really like the colors. I feel like they're actually really good for spring, surprisingly. I feel like usually the discounted stuff is all winter inventory, but I really like these two colors. I think they're good, especially this one. I really like that. I also love this sweater. It's like a turtleneck and it's striped. Definitely not sweater season anymore, but I think it's so cute. And I feel like I would wear this all the time. Struck out at Theory, so our last clothing store is going to be Saks Off Fifth. Hopefully we find something good. This Roberto Cavalli dress is gorgeous and perfect for summer. It's marked down from $16.75 to $384, which is still expensive, but not bad. You guys know by now that I love sweaters and I think this Dior one is stunning. It has to be cashmere. It is so, so soft. I love the little B on the back with the CD logo. It's so cute. Okay, but this Prada jacket, I'm literally obsessed. I love that it's like knit and has leather. This is so, so cute. So I'm looking in the shoe section at Saks Off Fifth right now, and I think it's so funny because they have the exact same pair of Valentino heels that we have for sale on our website, but we are asking so much less. And I love these, I think they're so cool. I don't know how well it's like gonna focus, but they're, basically a broken heart with a sword, it's so sick. And we also have this exact same pair of sneakers for sale on our website as well. So it's just so funny. It makes me feel like we're doing a good job. Spotted a wild Spencer. <laughs> what you doing? I'm trying to find these online, because they're, I love these. What are they? The Valley. Oh, but, nice. But they're, I don't know, they're too expensive for me. Back in the car. I feel like clothing shopping was definitely a strikeout at the outlets today. I don't know if it's just because it was Saturday or I don't know, maybe just like the time of year. I feel like there just weren't very many deals and it was also so packed. Now we're driving over to Restoration Hardware. I'm so excited. I love Restoration Hardware and I also really wanna go to Restoration Hardware Cafe. I've never been there, but I've heard it's really good. Um, so hopefully if we find some good deals. The only thing is I do know that this store has a lot of like big furniture, which obviously we're getting a New York City apartment, so it's not gonna have a ton of room. We're more so looking just for like little home decor pieces and stuff to decorate with, which we're kind of going with a more white and black, just kind of like a simple modern theme. I don't want anything really too busy. I'll probably have small pops of color here and there, but overall I just want it to look clean and crisp. I really like this Google chair. Also, this pillow is cute. It looks like a beach ball. Yes, I love their dresser. Oh, this one doesn't push to open. So really nice. They always have really good discounts here too. Like here, it was originally what three thousand seven hundred, and it's marked down to like half that. So it's a really good deal, and they have such nice furniture. So we struck out at Restoration Hardware, which we were kind of expecting, just because they mostly have large furniture, and like I said, we're getting an apartment in the city, can't expect to buy that. Um, we did really like the Buchel chair that they had, but it was just a little too expensive, so now we're about to go into West Elm, which last time we were here, we found a lot of good things that we liked, so I'm excited, and then afterwards, we'll probably go to the Pottery Barn outlet. So, yeah, find something. <laughs> So it's 40% off the entire store, and as soon as we walked in, I'm already seeing things I like. I think this is really cute. I guess it's like a vase. I don't know. And they also have a lot of nice coffee tables here, which is something that we do need. We already have a couch, and we're just gonna take the same bed that we already have. I really like these. It's like rose gold silverware. Yeah. So nice. I feel like we were finding so much at first, and now. We're not really seeing much, so I don't know if we're gonna get anything here. I don't know. I kind of liked a couple of the coffee tables, but wasn't obsessed with them. I think I'd rather keep looking. 
Wow, would you like to explain to the vlog everything that we got at West Elm? <laughs> um, a lot of nothing. Yeah, a lot of nothing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Just didn't end up getting anything. Now we're gonna head to Pottery Barn. I feel like today has kind of been a big miss. Yeah. I feel like the outlets are always either hit or miss. You either do really good or really bad. There's never an in-between. I think there's a lot of people here today, so like a lot of the good deals. And yeah, nice good items, items are gone. gone yeah. Seems like Pottery Barn has a lot of their holiday stuff for sale. Obviously, they have like pumpkins, Christmas trees. Over here is like more of the furniture section. This is just kind of like miscellaneous, I guess. All right, let's see what Pottery Barn has for coffee tables. I feel like just right off the bat, they don't have much. I'm not really going for the whole marble look. I'm not crazy about the colors of these woods. They do have some nice couches and chairs. Like some of them have a little bit of marks, but nothing bad that you can't really clean up. So if you guys are looking for a couch or a chair, I definitely recommend going to a Pottery Barn outlet. They always have a lot of good deals. We just got to the Riverhead Cider House. We're gonna grab a quick little bite to eat, probably grab a drink. We are having dinner later tonight with Spencer's dad and his sister, um, but we wanted to stop here. We actually came here last year on our anniversary. We like took a little trip to Riverhead, and if you guys are ever out this way, I definitely recommend stopping here. I know, so fun. yeah, it's so fun. You can like sit outside, and it's just such a nice day, so it only felt right to come. chips and guac which looks so bomb we're still waiting on our flatbread um i got the cranny apple cider which is so good i forget which one i got you um i'm not sure i want to say it was like honey crisp now i don't know i forget what i got Spencer. <laughs> um so now we're just waiting on our flatbread which one do we end up getting spinach or <laughs> yes. so excited oh wow yeah. it's so good car after the cider house and it was a really good time everything was really good even though I had spinach in my teeth and Spencer made sure to point it out so that I was able to clean it out at least he told me so I didn't walk around with literally spinach all on my teeth anyways now I think we're gonna head home because we do have to let Lucy out before we head over to Spencer's dad and sisters so or not your dad's house but his sister's house so that we can have dinner with them so I guess I will catch up with you guys back at the house Sleep on the drive home so we just pulled into Duncan Spencer ran in to get us some iced coffees I don't know why we've been on a Duncan kick lately rather than Starbucks and it has also saved us so much money but anyways yeah so I don't know if it's just like still some effects from the second vaccine I got um, also I didn't mention but right before we left I noticed that my body aches were getting worse so I did take some Tylenol and then I'd say about an hour maybe an hour and a half later they did go away and I felt perfectly fine the rest of the day except for just like being overall very tired but I was tired the day before before I even got the shot so it may just be lack of sleep lately so yeah I'm exhausted um Spencer's getting coffee and we're gonna go walk Lucy feed Lucy and then go eat dinner with his dad <laughs> Back with the loose. Hi, loose. I want to show the vlog your new toy. This is Lucy's new toy. This is Dino Bunny, and it has her favorite snaret. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so such a cute toy. It has a little cotton tail on the butt, and she's just on top of Spencer right now. She doesn't realize how big she is. In her mind, she's a lap dog. She is a lap dog, right? You're so cute. Oh my gosh, I love you. We just got back in the car and we left Spencer Sisters. We ordered Thai and honestly, 10 out of 10. It was so good. We got drunken noodles and peanut sauce 
what are those called? It's like cold noodles. Yeah, like cold noodles and edamame and spring rolls. It was just so good. Sorry guys, I forget what I was saying. Spencer's phone started making noise. Um, but anyways, we're just gonna head home. I just took a couple more Tylenol. I'm hoping that's gonna kick in soon. I'm gonna go home and just rest and sleep. But from everything I've heard, it sounds like I should feel totally fine tomorrow. I'm hoping. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a thumbs up down below if you did. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something.